Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to a brand new one-page RPG. Today, the vote has won out on Adventure Skeletons. So pretty soon we'll be uh, reading everything up on that. But first, everybody, feel free to introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Anasi Skyrider, and I already have a skeleton name. He is Harold Hughes, and that is as far as I've gotten. Nice. I'm Flicker. I normally play Calvin, but now I'm playing the late Calvin the White. <laughs> I'm Seth Gatomi, and I'm playing Doug Up. <laughs> Hi. Who are you playing, Chitekos? Uh, I'm playing Captain Jack Marrow. Excellent! <laughs> We've got some amazing skeleton <laughs> names here. And uh, I can't say that on my image, because fucking roll 20. It happens. You are skeletons, bored of being told to guard some boring old dungeon by a wizard. So, you dress up in some kit you found on a corpse and set off to the human dungeon, or village, as they call them, for an adventure. Your adventuring goals are to slay villains, get cool treasure, and perform legendary deeds. First and foremost, let's find out what kind of skeleton you are. What ancestry do you guys have? Feel free to roll it up. Yeah, I rolled an orc. Se uh, dug up is an orc skeleton. Remember to put that on your card sheet. Eep. I am uh, a gobbo. You're a gobbo. I mean, of elf. Flicker gets the elf. Calden is an elf, because of course he does. <laughs> and Trikekis is also an elf, just to cause him undue suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> oh man, okay. <laughs> we love how there's like some random banging in the background, like someone's hitting something. Uh, All right, me mixing my cereal. So uh, everybody, we'll 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 start off one at a time. Who who's first? Anase. Roll yes, your roll one d six twice for your equipment table. You have leather armor and a scimitar. Okay, okay. all not right, bad. not bad, not bad. Was it uh, Flicker? You're next. Okay, you get leather armor and, and a great axe. And a great axe. <laughs> yeah, very nice, very nice. D twelve versus the head. Uh, all right, <laughs> Seth, you're next. You got four and a three, so you get a dagger and a scimitar. Oh, they're going dual wielding, huh? huh? Apparently. And finally, try to us. Is the Prince of Persia over here. Roll your 2D. It's a 2D or not 2D? What's that, guys? I'm having a bad connection. I'll be right back. But there it is. We got it. Okay. You get a bow and arrows and metal armor. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, bone and arrows. Bone and arrows. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. So y'all, y'all are actually a pretty well-rounded party, if we do say so ourselves. That's cool. That's cool. So. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Cool bands. Are we cool supposed to leather armor? Say again. Two. You, you got okay. metal armor and bow and arrows. On a random <laughs> slot. So do I have to roll where it... What armor it is? Then? Where? Uh. Oh, I Oh, they do have random hit location. I'll just roll a d10? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that sounds right. Wait, does that mean that I should a roll, nation I should be rolling? Roll, roll for your random slots, also. Yeah. So All I right. this armor. Oh, nice. I got I got a helmet. You have, Sorry, a, metal, I have a leather helmet. You have, have a leather a metal, helmet. I have a, a metal tall piece. Yeah, and, 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 is it is it the the land schneck cod piece with the face on it that's all sticking out and everything? It is. It is. <laughs> 
quite overblown medieval codpiece proportions. Oh yeah. man, yeah. So you have four <laughs> boxes on your on your pelvis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, who was the other one with leather armor? Uh, an ace. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? You're rolling, rolling a d10 to see uh, where you're armored. All right. Three. You're, you have a cod piece too, but it is only a leather cod piece, sad to say. All right. I'm Not okay. nearly He's as cool as... He's got a loincloth. <laughs> no, no, he has a cod piece. It's 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 actually like a shaped groin protector. It's armor, not just clothing. But uh yeah, no, it's not nearly as cool as uh as uh uh it's not a shiny. Ca Captain Jack Marrow's big shiny in your face cod piece. That's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Made out of solid gold. It's got a face on it. Nice <laughs> Oh, it's shaped like an elephant's trunk. <laughs> no, it's, uh... What's, what's the... Yeah, no, it's 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 one of these boys. It's one of these boys, which were shown many, in relevant pictures. Many, many oh, giants no. have compared it favorably to the towering trees of their homeland. That's what you're, that's what you're wearing. <laughs> That's what Jack Mara is wearing in relevant pictures. Oh no, it's it's even bigger. It's yeah. way bigger, it's way like, more in your even, face. Even more in your face. Like um think late Renaissance cod piece, even. Oh, you know, man, it's funny. the show. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> so damage. When someone attacks you, they hit. Because you're slow. Roll a d10 on the hit location table to see where they hit you. This part, body part is damaged, mark off a hitbox, and comes off. As do any parts that are directly attached to it, use some common sense here. If someone hits you in a body part that is not currently attached, they miss. If a body part has no hitboxes remaining, it's broken and can no longer be used. If your head runs out of hitboxes, you're out of the game, so keep it safe. If a body part come reattaching parts, if a body part comes off, you can stick it back on. If it breaks or you lose it, you can replace it with any bone you found on your travels. You can have one non-bone replacement at a time that must be of appropriate size and shape. A barrel for a chest, a tree branch for a leg, etc. Fun fact, every human and all, most animals are full of bones going almost okay. entirely unused. <laughs> Performing an action is as follows. You roll a d10 and equal or beat the game master's target number, which will tell you before you do your roll. Four is easy, six is standard, eight is challenging, and really difficult is ten. If your roll is at minus your roll is at minus one for each body part you're currently missing. If you roll a ten, roll another d10 and add it to the result. So we have exploding tens here. Congratulations. <laughs> damaging humans and other things if you hit roll on the location table to see where you hit and your and roll your damage dice versus their toughness without a weapon you do d3 damage if you beat their toughness you take them out of action if not lower their toughness by one toughness ranges from two sheeps and weasels to 12 <laughs> dragons and finally, your human dungeon is one more. We're gonna we're gonna do a quick uh, d6. The human dungeon is wow. That landed exactly between four and five from our perspective. The human dungeon is a shady river port. Well, oh, uh, at least at least we're not going after the fucking priests. We wouldn't, right. want to have, we wouldn't want to be turned. <laughs> <laughs> so you are a party of adventure skeletons. You're at a shady, ri uh, a shady river port. There are humans just running around all over the place. Wait, are we already there, or have we risen to some unholy life outside the town? Oh, well, you were guarding some... Uh, 
wizard's dungeon or whatever, but you decided that you got bored of that, so, you know, you left, and you right. got together, and you decided you were going to go take down a human dungeon of your own. The the wizard forgot or didn't manage to uh, reaffirm his control in us, and now we're here to <laughs> snuff at the life of the living. He didn't maintain his upkeep. Oh. Uh, you just got bored, you know? Mm. <laughs> you got like, bored uh, of skeletons and moved on to another project. Well, you're like you're like Alice from uh, Ball Buddies, uh, skeletons. You know where where Alice you know started being a necromancer at like 12 years old or whatever because there were no kids in the village, so she just started bringing up skeletons and ma- actually making friends with them. Uh, but <laughs> because she didn't, you know, it's it's lame to you know use control magic on your friends. So obviously she just let them go around and produce their own their own personalities and stuff. And so, you know, 15 years later or whatever, she's become, you know, a, a beautiful woman who's in, you know, a death cult and everything and, and a very successful necromancer. And all of her skeletons are all just fucking horrible and stupid and are always stealing each other's leg bones and stuff because she never bothered to actually enforce her control on them. So they'll come running to her and complaining that Jeffrey stole your femurs or whatever just so he could be taller <laughs> things like that yeah you guys are like those guys you know <laughs> you, just, you just ran off you know to, to fuck around don't like, worry she'll never know we're missing that's exactly how they sound <laughs> commander Don't notice a thing commander jeffrey stole my femurs to look taller no i've always been taller fuck you <laughs> I got jealous of my magnificent inches. <laughs> Can we get the Wi-Fi password? No, last time I gave you the Wi-Fi password, we got swatted by a 12-year-old. <laughs> that's that's actually a line from the comic, and we're over here like, yeah, that's the kind of skeleton. You're those kind of skeletons. <laughs> You're not evil, <laughs> you're just a bunch of chuckle fox. Oh, <laughs> uh, boy. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you've, uh, you've gotten together, you group of chuckle fox, you know, have decided that you're bored to guarding the wizard dungeon, and now you've found your way out to a great and wonderful human dungeon. <laughs> Villages, as they call them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Where do the humans keep their treasure? <laughs> It's, uh, you know, you don't know. You don't know much about humans. The real treasure is the bones that we collect along the way. The the wizard kept his in these wooden boxes. Well, they've got some big wooden boxes here. They do have a lot of big wooden boxes, it's true. All over the port. We should should start checking (laughs) them out. Wait, what about that one over there? (laughs) I bet that one has better loot. (gasps) That's true. Stone's harder than wood. Let's check out the stone. things in a box made of stone. Mm-hmm. Keeps the bear protected, too. <laughs> so wait, we're two elves, an orc, and a goblin, right? Just yeah. making sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so these, these tall-ish skeletons, and then a really tall skeleton, and then this little fucking goblin moon skeleton... Roll on over to the port and just start opening up crates. Excellent idea. (laughs) So as you go and you open up crates, unfortunately you find that some of the crates only have meat in them, and other crates only have, like, little bits of wood and shit. And some just have bricks. And then somebody, some human nearby, goes, Oh my god! Skeletons! And starts running away from you. <laughs> Mara, Why are they freaking out? They haven't femur seen a skeleton loop before? Mara, do it you time. to hide your femur again? Wait, wait, can they shoot her in the back to stop her screaming? Yes, <laughs> you can definitely try. Uh, it, should, it shouldn't be too hard. Seems like it's it should be remarkably easy. Barely an inconvenience. Feel free to roll. Yeah, I even have a bow and arrows, so, uh, wait, what do I, how do I play this game? <laughs> you, you roll a d10. I roll it a d10. It is okay. an easy target number right now. You're an orc, so you have a plus one to hitting and shouting. 
No, I have a plus one to no, I'm, I'm an orc. orc. Oh, right. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, it's I, not, sorry, it's not I knife here. being an orc. <laughs> Uh, well, here's the thing, he tries a skeleton, so, so they don't have the knife ears. But he's an elf, so he should be good at shooting. <laughs> so, uh, <Hey. laughs> sadly, he's not good at shooting. <laughs> you just kind of you just kind of shoot in her general <laughs> direction, and everybody freaks out and starts running around. Oh, wow, these humans yeah, are easy. <laughs> Usually the adventurers don't start screaming until they're nearly dying. <laughs> Maybe I should fire another warning shot at them. <laughs> <laughs> that was a warning shot. Send me every time I miss. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Bastion Crow really does live on. Oh, why would you fire another warning shot? Because you don't like me. Why would you fire another warning shot? You're right, maybe I should give them a verbal warning. Let me give the verbal warning. I have shouting. But he's an elf. He has speaking. What kind of yeah, warning but... are you giving here? It really depends. Um, I don't know. This is amazing. <laughs> the skeleton kind. Or <laughs> before me, humans, cower in fear. <laughs> and give me all of your treasure. We demand good treasure this time, not this stuff. He's gonna grab a Doug's gonna grab a piece of meat and just throw it on the ground. Yeah, that's yeah. That exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. Or a uh, uh, Doug, roll a shouting. Elf, roll a speaking. <laughs> and they're both challenging rolls. <laughs> while, while you guys are doing that, can we call this the skeleton crew? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So as as uh, Doug is shouting, it's not getting much done. But as the elf says, "Give us all of your treasure." One of the uh, oh, two seconds. One of the humans just running around, making a nuisance of themselves, throws a hat of subterfuge at you. Oh, yeah. At me? At you? At you? Uh, 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 Jack Marrow. Okay, I'll, I'll fucking take that. <laughs> <laughs> it's take and go! Oh! Did you just find your pirate captain's hat? <laughs> Jack Marrow? <laughs> I made it up. It kind of seems like it, doesn't it? It does kind of seem like it. Well, congratulations, you! You got yourself a first piece of cool treasure! Well, I mean, suppose the social contract demands that I leave now, because that's, you know, it's, you know, I didn't promise that, though. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you said give me your treasure, not give me your treasure and I'll leave. It's oh, true. true. You said bow down before me and give me all of your treasure, and they <laughs> didn't bow down before you, and some guy threw a hat of disguise at you. So at least he gave you the treasure. Oh, what they might have that? more. We don't know if that's all. While this I is want going treasure. on, while they're being, while they're, while they're busy being all shouty and talky, can I sneak away into one of the boxes to find more loot? You can certainly roll a sneaky check. It'll be a standard because there are many distractions around for you to escape away into. Sadly, it's just not good enough. And somebody <laughs> nearby sees you and sees that you are a much smaller, spooky, scary skeleton and swings a bag at you. Oh no. We will roll a 1d10 to see where it hits you. And it hits you on the right arm! Your arm falls off! <gasps> no! My god. Also, it takes one uh, box of damage. How could they? Uh, remind me how that system works again. So whenever you do something against... Uh, well, you have two boxes per limb, as you can see. <laughs> and if you... Did you have uh, the leather armor on your pelvis? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's so, so your pelvis has three blo uh, three things. And uh, when one oh, box the is... Number, the number is... The, the numbers are not the number of boxes. No, that's the for the D10. Okay. Yes. Me. And then if your limb gets hit, it falls off. Uh, but you can put it back on or whatever. You can just take it back. But if it runs out of boxes, if both boxes or however many boxes it has 
are ticked, it's destroyed, and you can't use that. Oh, but you can replace it with human bones. Of or animal? even animal bones. Oh, yeah. Every human and most animals are full of bones going almost entirely unused. It's true. <laughs> hmm. It's fucking human. All I'm doing is sneaking around and decides to hit me. Fuck it, I'm gonna stab him. With a scimitar. <laughs> Do it. I'm... I've got a great idea for this head of subterfuge. You are not able to stab... Also, it's at a, a negative one, by the way, you're stabbing. How is it a negative one? <laughs> because uh, you have one body part that is not on you. Your roll is at a negative one for each body part you are currently missing. So I took two hits worth of damage to my right arm? I'm no. Confused. Like, no. When one your arm off. gets hit, it falls off. <clears throat> Period. That's it. Hit. One hit causes falling off and one damage. Is damaged and comes off. Huh. B. You can oh. reattach it, though. You can reattach oh, okay. it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. I'm like, wait, what's the point of having two hitboxes if it's gone after the first one? Because, it, it, you know, it's broken, but it's not destroyed <laughs> yet. Right. It fell off of you, but you can put it back, and then if Use it gets that. hit again, it'll be broken. All right, uh, so, guys, you just noticed some lady screaming and hitting your goblin skeleton friend over in the slight distance near one of the boxes. He's just being accosted by this human with a bag. Wait, can I humans are attacking! I charge into attack. Can I put on my hat of subterfuge and, I, and I, do I'm a gonna, I'm gonna go attack the wound. humans? <laughs> you may put on your hat of subterfuge, yes. Uh, sorry, Calden, you're going to attack the woman, and Doug, you're going to attack the woman, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, so Doug, you were the one that went racing in, so we're gonna say you get the first hit. Also, you're an orc, right. so you're just better at hitting in general. I and love we're going, you know, the head of this guy's on the side, but it's a head of subterfuge in the actual treasure tables. Yeah. So, so we were going to say it's a standard attack because this person isn't terribly, you know, impressive. Uh, and so, uh, Seth, you do not hit. Or, sorry, Doug, you do not hit. Meanwhile, Calden, you do run over. And you have a weapon, right? This is a great axe. I have a great axe. Nice. Okay. Roll your uh to your hit location table. Aww. Ooh. Not a head. That's the left arm. You. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that I just separated their left. You arm. just separated their arm from their body, and they're like. Ah! <laughs> it's arm for arm here. It's arm for arm here. <laughs> oh my god. So, so they're like, ah! And they've got an orc skeleton all looming over them. <laughs> Try Kekas, you wanna you wanna donate to this? Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> <laughs> as, he, as he walks up, it's like, oh yes, look at me. Uh, hello, fellow humans. <laughs> roll, <laughs> roll I'm, literally doing, I'm literally doing the two thumbs up that the skeleton is doing in the, <laughs> in the right now. Hello, fellow human. Roll a disguise. <laughs> uh, roll it? Okay. Does that count as plus one to speaking as well for a total of plus three? <laughs> <laughs> I was speaking. Well, first you roll a disguise. All right. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, other skeletons, as you're beating up on this random human, you suddenly turn around and you can you can almost not tell he's a fellow skeleton. He looks. Oh, no, no, I'm looks, totally walking. <laughs> he looks like such like, a like, human. A dead monstrosity. And then when I get there, I rise straight up and I'm like. Hello, fellow humans. <laughs> you guys, you guys think it's the hat. The hat really ties it up. Oh, the hat really put pulls it all together. Doesn't it really it? pulls. Well, you know, because he's got the he's got the big Chadley cod piece going on that makes it looks like he has something fleshy hanging off of his pelvis in there. And then he put a hat on, and 
My God, he's practically a human already. <laughs> <coughs> hello, hello, humans. That's a fine ass hat. As, as this, uh, this, I've decided that I need to take my flawless disguise, and maybe I can infiltrate like a human. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, whatever humans fucking do, and uh, maybe, like, talk them into giving me more treasure. Uh. Maybe, yeah. maybe I can lure a human out to us where we can brutally slay it, or so I don't fucking know. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. Pretend to be human. We I lure them into trap like I sneaky humans do. I up in my perfectly human disguise of Johnny Human Men. Um, <laughs> Shy. Is the, yes. is the person that I lopped the arm off of, like, right here? We're so glad you asked. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> they're flailing around and screaming and spraying blood everywhere. Oh, why don't we... Meanwhile, we're just having a casual conversation. About, about how human one of you looks. <laughs> why like, don't we damn, friend! Human, how human I look. Oh, <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God! Save me, Hello. God! Hello, I am Johnny Humanman. It is nice <laughs> to meet you, and I hold my hand out to them upside down and backwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you, you hold out your, uh, your right hand because their left hand is missing. <laughs> yeah. Hello, fellow human. Would you please tell me how to get back to a human establishment? Oh god! Oh god, it's a monster! Ah! The human to their feet. <laughs> As. Oh. I'll, I'll, put ah! their arm, ah! I'll put their arm over me like I'm helping carry them, right? And say, lead on, fellow human. So, so not understanding. Let us do medical help. Not understanding exactly how human bodies work, sadly you do 27 damage to this guy as you try to pick him up by the stump. <laughs> you, you just grab an exposed nerve and pull. Oh, oh my god. You know, a funny prank to pull He's on your dead. friends. He's super dead. Humanity. Anyway, I wipe it off on my clothes. <laughs> that being <laughs> said... Do they have any treasure? Well, they have a right arm that you can replace yours with, nice and fresh. And, and presumably I have a skull now, <laughs> just in case. Just in case, yeah, you can carry around. Yeah, we, uh... we, we've got a whole corpse here with one piece already cut off. Can I store the skull in my um, torso? Like in your in your chest cavity? Your rib cage, oh in my god. My rib cage, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> using your chest as a chest. I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. Oh but, you, but you get no extra hitboxes from it. I'm not I'm not trying for extra okay. hitbox. Okay. I just I just you realized I don't, have, I don't have like a sack or anything, you know? Right, right. It's like a massive fucking ball sack. <laughs> it's true. So uh, next, uh, what do you want to do? You've you've chased people away. There are a bunch of crates out, but most of them don't seem to have cool treasure in them. I, what I, dungeon I, was this again? This was a shady river port. Ooh, I I think we should go looking for those stone chests again. Stone chests. Yeah. They just, yeah, those big stone chests with the wide the stone, doors, the stone, with the wide openings on them. The they could definitely, box. like, ask other humans if they know where stone chests are. Well, um, are there any stone chests around, Shy? Do we see any? Oh, uh, there are a lot of crates. You're at the docks right now, so no, not really. Just FYI. <laughs> now, is this human dungeon made of a bunch of, like, Buildings or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a yeah. it's a Riverport yeah. town. Out of these buildings. Like, that's what we've been referring to as chests. We, we, yeah, the, that's what yeah we're not talking crates. about fucking Skyrim crates out in the fucking river town. Most of the most of the buildings it. are made of wood. Hmm. Is there a particularly big one? There are several big ones right here next to the docks. A lot of people ran into them. 
Was it oh. day or night? Huh? It was, was day. It, day it was day? Yeah, you walked out in broad daylight. Excellent time. The great visibility. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and, and all the humans, all the humans ran into these buildings here. Where if we remember the wizard's orders correctly, he tends to group us all where the most valuable treasure is. So where we find the most humans, we find the most oh, valuable wait. treasure. Oh, wait. wait, no, sorry. Sorry. None of them have bones. Sorry. Well, why don't I just go... Sorry, did you, did you hear what we just said? None of them have bones? None of them have bones. I'm confused. What did the fuck somebody ask happened? about bones? Yeah, because yeah. Anase had to get a new bone, and then and then Trikekas took a skull out and put it in his chest cavity. Mm. But they're boneless humans? But they're boneless. <laughs> no, the bones on the inside. They're boneless. Oh, gotta get the meat off. They don't have bones in their whole bodies. The humans don't? The humans don't have bones. What? I thought, hmm. I thought you were the, made of bones. This flies in the face of everything you know about humans. I'm sorry, what? Literally <laughs> all we knew about humans is that they frequently have unused bones. These ones do not. They don't have any bones at all. They're, They're just, just floppy, flappy flesh sacks. They just they just have big crystal balls in their skulls. That's it. Are they skinless too? No, they look like humans. They're functionally indistinguishable from other normal humans. Oh, they're just not skinless. So clearly, KFC didn't do it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> They just have, have crystal balls. They just have crystal balls in their skulls or in their heads. Like crystal Sorry. value. We must take no, their skulls. No, no, just we must no, take their not heads. Not valuable. Not I'm valuable. Sorry, they, they they're they're shiny. The wizard keeps many shiny things. He's got to have a reason for keeping shiny things. Yeah, but but you don't fucking care about the wizard. You're here to get do great things and get cool <laughs> treasure, not just a bunch of glass balls. Exactly. Here's the thing: the, these these shiny balls are clearly treasure because the wizard keeps shiny treasure. So if we get the shiny balls, we have treasure. We have officially got a skeleton trying to ponder his orbs. <laughs> yes, I'm pondering the orbs. I think I need to do some recon in amongst the humans with my hat <laughs> with, with your, with your seamless, flawless <laughs> disguise. Yes. Let me. <laughs> Hide inside of a crate, and I will yes, watch them we shall from hide. my crate. All right, L lure, lure, lure the humans towards us so we can make we may steal yeah, their treasure. I would stand in the middle of the square <laughs> and wait for the first human to come, right, and lure them to us, or should I go to them and bring them here earlier? No, no, we put we we bring the crates out with you. Then we hide in the crates. You stand near the crates, and then you know we just we just wait there. You know, very very clearly in obvious crates. So you're saying we should cr crate you all up? Maybe not seal the crates, but we should definitely hide in the crates. I'm Pop out like crate. Jack in the Box. I say I'm a knob in a box. <laughs> I say we start searching, searching all of these these really large boxes. We told you multiple mm. times. Oh, the really large boxes. Okay. Why don't yes. We just, yes. Yeah. Why don't we search? Yeah. Let's just search. You know what fucking buildings dungeons. are? Oh my god. Yeah. Let's search the mini human dungeons. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll so the the set the segments of the human dungeon. There we go. Yes. All right. Houses. So there's a nearby <laughs> warehouse where a lot of people ran into. Okay. Yes, exactly. More more humans means more treasure because that's where the, all the guards are. At it and go, let me in. There are skeletons out here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Ah, we're skeletons. Before you do that, I want to I want to drag a crate up to up to the building. I'm going to empty it. And I'm going to hide in it upside down, Metal Gear Solid style. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to be just sitting right next to him. And when somebody comes out through the door, I'm going to stab him. All right. So you said, help me. There are skeletons out here. Roll a speaking. 
Roll is speaking, this is a challenging challenge. Uh, so d10 plus one? Yes. Uh-oh. There's no, there's no answer. <laughs> can, can, can I shout Ra, I'm a skeleton, to try to, you know, imp improve upon his act? Because clearly they don't know, they don't believe that there are skeletons out here. Rattle, rattle, rattle them bones out there. Try rattle shouting. bones! Oh my god. Well, yes, yeah, shouting. Go ahead. Uh, roll. <laughs> Wait, one moment. Okay. Uh, roll again. D10s explode. Yeah, <laughs> D10s explode when performing acts. So, so as you roll up and you're like, I'm a skeleton, I'm going to eat you, ma! The, you can hear... You can hear people screaming inside, and then someone cracks open the door next to uh, next to try to, uh, a Jack Marrow and goes, "Oh my God, get in here!" Okay, I go in. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Help! There, there is a skeletons out here. <laughs> oh, I am a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, so now you are in the dark warehouse, and you hear, "Oh my God, are you okay? You can't really see anybody very well, though." Oh, excellent! <laughs> excellent! <laughs> excellent! I have all my bones and meat. Yes, I still have all of my bones. I am excellent. Thank you <laughs> for being concerned for my structural integrity. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I, I actually doff my hat for a moment, completely reverting to my skeleton form and putting it back on. <laughs> just, just lift your hat. <laughs> <laughs> so for just a minute, I'm a complete. For just a second, I'm a, a skeleton again, and then I'm back to my human form. <laughs> roll, so roll a disguise. Roll a disguise. You're trying to fool this guy into thinking that you're clearly a human. <laughs> does that stack with my speak bonus? Yes, it does. Ooh, plus three. It's like a plus six. Oh, jeez. Because it's dark. They uh, seem to believe that you're a human. <laughs> Guys, he's in. <laughs> Doug just gives the others two thumbs up and remember, a, well, I'd say a grin, plan. but you know he doesn't have the flesh to do so. Remember the plan: get them to come outside, and then I'll stab them. <laughs> Doug's gonna get ready for stabbing. He's just gonna be standing outside the door, you know, both both blades pointed at the door, just. I'm going to very visibly rub my uh, <laughs> arm across my head region and then go, Ooh, there sure are a lot of skeletons out there today. Where did all the skeletons come from? How today. could they have found us? As if it's just like, oh yeah, weather said skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> There's a 70% chance of bone. I think they're good for all of our treasure. Do you have any treasure? Here. So you can protect it, of well, course. Well, they'll never, they'll never find out what we've been doing here. No problem. All the treasure is safe. Oh, goody. I am glad that the treasure is safe. Where is this treasure? So, Where is the treasure so, that, so that I might make it safer, too. Rule of speaking. A speaking? A spe <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to speak. You're like, oh, yes, wow, the treasure, of course. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh okay. my god. So, so he's like, oh, it's, oh, don't you worry. It's all in the arsenal, and, and that's where it's going to stay for now. Oh, goody. Where was the arsenal again? Well, everybody <laughs> knows the arsenal. You know, you know where the arsenal is, of course. I seem to have gotten lost in all the confusion. Running from the skeletons has made me lose my mental maps. Mm. Please, can please, can you... Well, it's just three lanes down and one block to the left. Three lanes down and one block to the left? Excellent. I will... <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> just open the door and leave. <laughs> sort of open the door and go back outside. Yes, guys, guys. He opens the door and just leaves it wide open. <laughs> no. Do we, do we go in and start stabbing? Guys, I'm gonna go in and start stabbing. Guys, I have found the treasure. Oh, never mind. Then. Let's go to the treasure. Where's the treasure? You hear from a you hear from a box. Hold on, let, let me make this authentic. Where's the treasure? <laughs> and, we're really in this. So and as you funny. and as you walk into the light, you hear, "Oh my God! You were a skeleton! Ah, kill them all!" <laughs> and the whole group of guys come swarming out of swarming out of the warehouse to attack you. Hang on, I will be right back. Uh, uh, clearly, yeah. Seth has already started the running away role. Yeah. I... All right, I'm back. I'm going to be like, Marrow, where is it? We got to go. <laughs> okay, I guess. I'm here. You were just asked a question. I'm sorry, what? Where is it? We got to go. Screw these flesh sacks! Oh shit, I already forgot. Uh, like, three streets down and two houses to the left or something. Amazing. To the treasure, then! To the treasure, then! Yep. <laughs> Guys, everybody, roll a running away roll. The challenge, uh, it, is, it is standard. So I get, I get a plus one because it's moving? Uh, no, no, we believe we believe the goblin would be the one with the plus one because they explicitly have running away. We don't know what the fuck they're implying with moving. Maybe it means like like a running jump, like I mean, over a bridge kind of thing. Running is more specific, while movement is more general, so it applies to more things. But yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't moving apply to running away? Maybe we don't fucking know. <laughs> I think I think it means stump something more like jumping or climbing than running away specifically. That's kind of what we were thinking, like traversing. <laughs> roll, yeah, just roll. Try Kekas, You rolled a ten, so roll again. What's the point of the exploding? So roll again. I, <laughs> I got a twenty-four. The point of exploding tens is because you might not have as many body parts, so you might have right. as many as, say, a negative four accruing penalty or whatever. Right. Fair enough. Yes. So, so as you guys run, uh, Anase, Anase, some guy attacks you and oh. does two damage to your... To your right I, leg! Oh no! He broke off your right leg. Uh, no, minus one right head. arm and minus one right leg. I'm just over here like half a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the arm back on, but meanwhile, meanwhile, of course, Captain Jack Marrow is just booking it. He's absolute <laughs> booking speed. Um, everybody else got away unscathed and unharmed because, after all. You're super cool. Sadly, sadly, it's it's looking like uh, Harold Hughes. We think is uh, he's yep. he's in a sorry state. He's hopping along. <laughs> he lost he's his right leg. leg. To, he lost his right leg to the to the mob. I have an idea. We saw all those crates full of wood. Yeah, let's use one of those. Those humans For aren't going to be using those. A leg, a wooden plank as a leg. Yeah, you, make make yourself a wooden leg, dude. Do I need to roll until again we can get away, one... or do I get away with damage? How's this working? You can have one non-bone replacement at a time. I'm asking you to try a specific question. Hold on. Did I get away, but I took damage, or do I need to roll again to get away? No, you got away, but you took damage. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, wooden leg. Mm. Um, dumb humans wouldn't know the difference anyway. Yeah, and it's not like they have bones. How can they tell the difference between a wooden bone and a real bone? Darn well, boneless flesh sacks. Doesn't that non 
bone replacement also mean you could use a boneless leg as a replacement? As long or as it's fluffy. a non a non bone replacement. But it'd be very floppy. It works for them. Doesn't mean it'll work for me. I'm going peg leg, okay? Listen, guys, I'm going peg leg, okay? <laughs> All right, so you you uh, grab a random uh, a random tree branch or whatever and snap it off and make yourself a peg leg. Wait, I did have a I did have another thought. I am brimming with thoughts tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. be careful. They might escape your skull. I'll, I'll I'll be sure to cover my eye sockets then, and he's gonna cover his eye sockets. <laughs> what if? Th those those crates of meat. Those meats must have been attached to bones at some point. What are the bones for the meat? Don't they have buildings for meat meat deboning? I think I think they get that meat from animals, and animals do have bones. Yes. I mean, he's gonna have to uncover uh, his eyes. Hang, on, hang on, guys, guys. Are are we sure that animals have bones? I mean, we 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 knew, we knew humans had bones until they didn't. Well, until we have reason to believe the animals also don't have bones, why would we assume they don't? Yeah, what is this, a boneless society? Yeah. Evidently. <laughs> well, at least the the humans are boneless, but but the chicken isn't. But you don't know yet if it is completely a no-bone zone. Yeah. Are we in a no-bone zone? Oh no. Then we're the ones that are boned. <laughs> <laughs> we're the only ones that are boned. <laughs> Horrifying. The only bone zoes around here. So what do you want to do next? You wanna you wanna we go find that armory, right? We should go find that treasure. Yeah, yeah we should I, get the treasure I, first. I think we can get the later. treasure and get out of here. We should go get the treasure before they reinforce it. They they know that we know where it is now. So so you go three lanes down and two houses to the left. And it just looks like a house. Excellent. Mm. They disguised it. Now, hiding it in plain sight, much like an invisible door. The door is locked. Please. Let's go bust. Can I use my, the front can I door use my great like, axe to take out the door? You <laughs> may, and we will even yeah. give you a d12 instead of a d8. Nice. As it is an axe cutting down a door shining style, and there's definitely some advantages to that. <laughs> Alright, so I, I no roll to hit? Just damage? Oh, it's a door? Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. You bust through the door. Oh, oh here's so Johnny. And some random lady in the corner screams and runs out of the room. <laughs> uh, and, is, uh, I assure you, ma'am, that is unnecessary. You needn't run in abject terror. Just give us the treasure. <laughs> you merely must tell us where the treasure <laughs> is. And all of your fears will be alleviated, and, uh, yeah, we'll leave then, probably. I'm going, gone, to find an, I'm going to find <laughs> another small box, and I'm just going to drag the box out through the room. <laughs> They'll never see me. You go over, you, you go over <sighs> to her jewelry box, which is, of course, because she is a peasant, surprisingly not full of jewels, and you put it on your head like a small wooden helmet. <laughs> well, where'd she run off to? Just out the back window. <laughs> Clearly, the treasure must be in there. Wait, is this how you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the second <laughs> floor window. It's not the second <laughs> floor window, yeah. It has an underground oubliette up for their treasure. So you're checking the basement? Yes. A crypt. That's good. Me. That's yes, good. Do they have a crypt for vegetables? A vegetable crypt. Oh, oh, bones. Yes. There is, as a matter of fact, a very large basement. And is there any smoked hams hanging in there? There are sadly no smoked hams hanging in there. Well, I there tried, is... I, I tried to find you a bone. Can I try to find some steamed hams? There is, however, 
a dog. <gasps> and the dog oh. looks at you and it licks its jowls. <gasps> oh no. Well, I suppose it's time to find out if they have bones. <sighs> Because you realize you you may have never seen a dog, but you instinctively realize that thing likes bones. Dog club huh? balls, and I have a round object in my chest cavity right now, which I will toss to the dog. Oh, roll, roll it. No, the roll treasure. It. This is a really difficult one. What is this? I don't have any... Is this a... It's, not a it's, it's probably just a D10. It's just a D10. This is a really difficult one. Oh my god. Oh my god. god <laughs> and you're like, oh shit. I've never seen one of those things, but I instinctively know it wants my bones. Wait. I have a ball. You want a ball boy? You want a ball boy? And he's like, oh, oh my god. And I trust him. <laughs> and he, and he, he catches it! He's very excited for it! He brings it back to you! That what do you do a, with it? That is a skull. It's a boneless a, one, too. Huh? It's a boneless cranium, huh? It's uh, uh, the, the, the crystal ball crystal. that you found inside of it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. Excellent boy. He's happy. He likes you. He 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 jumps around. He brings you the ball back. I tell him to come with me because that's what you do with bets. You tell them to come with you. Right? Absolutely, and he does. You have a oh new best friend. I was just about to ask. <laughs> the treasure really is the friends we made along the way. The oh treasure God. is the friends. We made. Surprisingly, yeah. <laughs> You, I, will you? Him, I will name him Bones McG McNaw. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Bones McNaw is your new best friend. You you really think you made a connection with him by giving him that ball. <laughs> Not uh, how we expected that to go, but... Uh... <laughs> I mean... Alright, unfortunately there are no fabulous treasures other than Bones McNaw down here, so what do you want to do now? Fabulous treasure, I am... Uh... <laughs> he is a fabulous treasure, but he's the only <laughs> one here, so... The humans must have lied to you. There's no treasures here. Or is it the next building over? We went maybe. three doors down, right? Maybe it, was, maybe it was three down, or maybe it was to the right, not the left? I can't remember. I try. Hmm. Just talking huh. to the point of, they said the arsenal, there's no weapons here. There's no weapons here. So we need to bust into the next house demanding weapons! No weapons! No weapons! <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> Actually, I love it. Start exploring everything in a spiral gridded pattern. Yes. Okay, but which way, you, which way are you going first? Left. Left? Yeah, left. Hi. Let's All right. Go. All right. So, so you go left to another house, and uh, the door is locked. Of course. Our axe time. Axe <laughs> time. Knock. Knock with an axe. Nice. And then uh, Calden knocks with his great axe and punches straight through the fucking door. <laughs> And uh, in response, some shelter? guy on the some guy on the other side shoves a big stick through the door and hits you, called him. Oh, he hits no. you. He hits you in the torso. Okay. Your torso falls off. How the fuck does that work? We have no fucking idea. <laughs> uh, I, I imagine you just fall apart. You yeah, are a magically animated skeleton. Yeah, it works. Your torso falls out. Everything else is still there. Like Rayman. <laughs> you, you fall apart like a dry bones. Well, that's yeah. incredibly rude. <laughs> the guys! Guys! Your buddy called in the white has just been attacked <laughs> by a big stick. <laughs> I'm gonna attack the stick back! Wait, that's a weapon. We have found the place with the weapons! Yes, clearly! Exactly! Get the weapons! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys! 
Well, Calden just, <laughs> Calden just took his turn, so let's go with an order of operations here. We're going to start with the orc. Uh, so, orc, your buddy oh. just got hit. What are you doing? Oh I'm attacking. You're you're hitting? Yes, I am hitting, and I forgot to add the plus one, so it's a three. You just hit the door. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, uh, um... What's the who's the uh, Anase Anase um, Harold uh, Harold Hughes? Oh, thank you, Harold Hughes. What do you do? Well, since I'm invisible because I got this box in my head, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> How do you sneak up behind the guy on the other side of the door? Oh, the door wasn't open. My no, bad. no, oh, Calden. Calden punched through the door with his great axe, and then the guy shoved a big stick out and hit Calden in the chest through the hole that Calden made. I'm gonna stab him through the door with my scimitar. Okay. <laughs> Roll a, a perform an action. It's a challenging uh, strike, so sorry, it doesn't work this time. You just uh, mostly hit the door. There's just a hole in the fucking door, you know? <laughs> nice. All right. All right. So we leave that leaves with Captain Jack Marrow. What do you do? Well, obviously, I resort to diplomacy because speaking is the only thing I can do reliably. <laughs> you have a bow and arrow. I told him. To surrender now, lest we be forced to eat all of their bones. Drop their weapons, their valuable, valuable weapons, and show us the treasure already, and we won't eat their bones. Roll a speaking. Hey. You hear? You hear from inside? I am back. Just don't fucking kill me! Go on, I don't, we don't have anything of value here! Lies, we were told this is where the treasure was. What treasure are you talking about? The you know, the treasure. The treasure. Hiding that's... Where In the armory. armory! And you got our... The armory! The arsenal? The arsenal, Larry. <laughs> The arsenal isn't for half a block! Where? Oh. Which way? Down the street! What? <laughs> you guys, you, it was three lanes down and just a block to the left. You guys heard three <laughs> lanes down and two houses to the left. Oh, <laughs> so you just went down and started buzzing into random houses looking for the arsenal that was a half a block away? Guys, let's go. We gotta move. Sneak into the houses. Meanwhile, there's a there's like a five story uh, fortified building right next yeah. to us. Yeah. <laughs> is it a fort just on the block? <laughs> Wait, guys. Maybe it's this big fortified building over here. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. That would make sense. Let's let's get Calvin together and get, get moving. Okay. I, Sorry I'll for the inconvenience, sir. I was going for your door, but, um... <laughs> do you have a, any ham? <laughs> what? Do you have any ham? Uh, yeah? <laughs> Might I have your ham for my friend? Sure, sure, just go away! And he gives you a ham. Here you go, dude. Here's a bone. Oh. Congratulations, Harold. I now have, 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 have a ham leg. You have a ham leg. Oh. <laughs> Clearly an upgrade from wood. Alright, how, how do I have to... How do I reattach my chest? Or my uh, torso? Well, you can just put it back on. <laughs> You, you just roll your head over there. You pick it up and you just slide it back into your chest care area. All right. You you you, 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 re you reassemble yourself like a st a Stalfos. But remember that it does have one hit yep. box of damage taken on it. Can we give so. some of that extra ham to the dog? Yes, <laughs> yes, you can. Nice. We don't need the meat. We just need the bone. 
We just need the bone. Well, he is very happy to have all of the meat from the ham. <laughs> friends now. Best friends forever. Yeah. Mm. So. We start skipping through a field. <laughs> Down to the ar- armory. So... So, uh, yeah, you, you wander down to the armory, and then uh, a guy shoots at you. All Whoa. four of you. <laughs> one guy? Well, guys. So, one of would you... Would he even shoot at the human? Oh, yeah, even at the human. In fact, the human takes a shot to the left arm. Oh, no. The, the uh, Calden takes a shot to the pelvis... Oh jeez. The uh the uh, uh, uh Harold also takes a shot to the pelvis. I have an extra <laughs> of those. And Jack Marrow takes a shot to the right arm. You guys have just enough time to get your pieces back together before you hear Get out of here, you done dead abominations <laughs> We're You do. Why don't you get out of here? Give us your treasure and we'll leave. Give us the treasure we won't suck your bones. Eventually, (laughs) eventually I won't roll a three. So once again, I'm going to attempt to slip away. Okay. (laughs) Roll a sneaking. Well, you didn't roll a three. You did not roll a three. So, as you try to go sneaking away, you accidentally uh, slip on a banana peel and go careening into a bell wagon. A a, a merchant wagon full of bells. (laughs) Causing everybody to know that you're here now. And then you hear, Oi! He broke Mammy Bell's wagon! Get him! <laughs> Everybody's entitled to a runaway if they want. It's time to brutally slaughter some humans. You can't even get into the fortress yet. They're all yelling at you from down, from up at the top of the thing. I'm gonna hide hey. underneath the cart and wait until they. And <laughs> oh no, the cart's broken. He he just ran. He he slipped on a banana peel and flew right into it and destroyed. Got it. It's Gary's mod. It completely disassembled into pieces. All right. Let's yeah. go <laughs> I'm gonna just try to get oh, him out of sight and change my hat of disguise disguise, and then try to pass myself off in the crowd of angry humans. <laughs> you you just was... tilt the hat slightly the other direction. Right. So, oh my god! You turn it around and your and your other Ash catch him. <laughs> So, Harold Hughes, you got away. Uh, um, sadly, sadly, Seth, what, what was your guy? Doug. Ooh. Doug takes a right leg injury. And Calden takes a right arm injury. And uh, try, Kekas, try to roll your disguise, we suppose. Oh. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Tricat! And Tricat just kind of disappears into the mob. Yes! Let him go and get those dastardly skeletons! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> wait, wait, where can I acquire a torch and pitchfork like every one of you has gotten? <laughs> 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 oh jeez this fucking rule is speaking <laughs> okay oh. <laughs> and some guy and some guy grabs you by the shoulders and go they're, tr- they're clearly trying to get into the arsenal quick go to the gate and make sure that all of the goods are safe and pushes you into an, uh, a secret tunnel Nice! Yes! Let us go deeper into the arsenal tunnel, or whatever. And then he closes the hatch behind you, and you hear it go... Oh, oh boy, goodness gracious, I am so glad we have made it away from those skeletons. Guys, guys, (laughs) you've lost Captain Jack Marrow. I don't know where he is. The humans have captured him! We need to go rescue him! 
His human his human costume was so good that you guys could already barely tell he was a skeleton at all. And now clearly he's stepped up his game. <laughs> I am truly Johnny Humanman now. <laughs> sadly, sadly, you're also left with his doggy. What, what was his? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Bones McNaw. Bones McNaw, who, while he is your friend, uh, you know, isn't gonna follow orders from you or anything like he did with Captain Jack Marrow. He's just gonna follow you around. He might protect you if you get attacked. Mm. Seek, boy, seek! Hey, Hidden, stay Damn, with it's me. not working. He didn't stay with me during the confusion? No, oh. no, he just got caught up in so much shit, you know? <laughs> Man, that's a really, it's a really, it's a, it's a shame, because having a dog is just such a human thing. Mm. Really? It's, it's, yeah. human, it's human's best friend, after all. Exactly. And, and after all, could one of what, us pretend to be human? Well, anybody of you can pretend to be human. You just don't have the hat of disguise. <laughs> you couldn't possibly be nearly as human as I am pretending to be. <laughs> I've humanly did it, it so rolling. did it so well, though. I got a plus one, and I keep rolling a two and a one. So clearly, I need to step up my game and just start trying everything else other than what I'm good at. <laughs> well, well, Bones McNaws with you guys, and you guys have found I your way outside of the mob. I am getting deeper and deeper and closer to the truth of the matter here. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. So All right, guys, I've got an idea. What's your idea? They don't have any bones, right? So here's right. what we're gonna do. We're gonna try the same trick again. Help, help, there's skeletons out here, right? But <gasps> this course. time, we're gonna play on their empathy. We're gonna be like, my dog's sick, his body's full of bones. <gasps> Genius! <laughs> his body's full of bones. It does sound genius. <laughs> Yeah, he's, no, got he's got the bonitis. Bonitis. He's got bonitis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he tried to get a cure for his bonitis, but he was just too busy being an '80s man. Thanks <laughs> for reminding me about that. Too busy being an '80s man. His only regret is that he has bonitis. <laughs> And of course, GIF. Of course. And of course, GIF. Alright, so, so, uh, uh, Captain Jack Marrow, what are, where, you, we follow down the, the area, and then there's, there's three paths, there's a fork in the tunnel, there's three paths that you can take, do you want to take the right one, the left one, or the center one? Well, left is best, said the guy who is left-handed. I think it's... <laughs> The trick is you always choose the door on the right. <laughs> okay. So you choose the door on the right. Yeah. And, and then you find yourself in a big room. A room full of gold and gems. Whoa. Whoa. The treasure. It sounds like treasure. Indeed. Indeed, but it's a lot of golden gems. You don't know if you can get it all out of here by yourself. Wait. Also, also at the far end of the room, there's a man in, in metal armor standing at a door. He doesn't seem to notice you yet. He doesn't notice me? He doesn't seem to notice you yet. Maybe it's a good time for me to sneak up behind him and bump him on the head. Remember, you have a bow and arrows, too. Maybe I should do that at a distance with a bow and arrow, yes. Bump him from a distance. Mm. But what we think is just the wind if you hide. <laughs> <laughs> you eat the treasure he's guarding. You're right. You're right. I'm going to shoot him with my bow and arrow stealthily. Okay, roll a sneaking first. <laughs> a sneaking? A sneaking first. I don't think I have any bonuses to that. Is that movement? No. No. No, it's... I'm trying to hold still, I suppose. Oh, no. 
And as you try Double to get in, as you try today. to get into position, you accidentally knock over a nearby vase, which shatters loudly on the ground. And the man goes, "Oh, hey, what are you doing in here?" Me? Um, I came to pr- uh, help protect the the treasure. Oh, roll a disguise speaking. Because oh. after all, you look like a human. I'm Johnny Humanman. Johnny Humanman. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. And he says, and he says, you don't look like a you. You don't look like you're here to protect things. You. You look like a skeleton! Rawr! And he comes charging at you. You get one attack that you can get off as he comes running. Oh no! This is gonna end badly. I believe you in one, your arrow. You get one right shot off through. at him before he gets you. Okay. How do I do that? Just uh, make a D10? Roll a D10. Yep. It's always a D10. It's a challenging one. Oh! oh. 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 Reroll it. Alright. <laughs> Congratulations, and you hit him in the head. <laughs> you, you nail that. Roll a one d six, baby. Flicker, I think we should start calling him. <laughs> uh, sorry, but what was, I can't remember my own character's name. What was my archer called again? Flicker. Congratulations. That's just enough damage to hit the to kill the average human. Uh... <laughs> They just killed an average human with a single shot to the head. Yup, it went through. It went through his metal armor and then went straight into his skull. Can I put on his metal armor? No, it's broken now. But well, the <laughs> helmet is broken now. But you can take one body part of armor from him, and you must roll it. Hmm. Well, I might as well get a chest piece. To go roll with my giant fucking cock. Roll it. Roll it? At, as the metal armor. Roll it. Random slot. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you get torso, torso armor. Okay. Congratulations. So now you have not, a not lie, I was I was gonna laugh if you rolled the ten. Right. <laughs> so you got puts the skin of the helmet on. So I get metal. Torso armor? You have metal torso armor and metal pelvis armor. You beefy and, boy. And there are a bunch of crowns and gold and jewels all up in this room here that you're in. Well, uh, also, also the guard, the guard has no bones. He has no bones? He has no bones. Well, well, he's human, of course he has no bones. I think it's very eerie how none of these people have bones, and I'm not liking this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. And I think... <clears throat> I think I need to retreat to go find my allies so that we can collect all this treasure. Alright. <laughs> the part so... where we cut back to the B-plot of us trying to sneak inside using the same <laughs> thing he did. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You work your way inside and open up the final door and I'm gonna be standing there and be like, Oh good, you found your way here. Right. <laughs> so what are you guys how are you guys going to get into the arsenal that you've been chased away from? We prey hmm. on their sympathy. Our bo- our dog is suffering from bones. Roll a s are are you shouting roll a shouting. Our dog <laughs> is sick, he's suffering from boneitis! <laughs> My gods! Roll another D ten. <laughs> And before, lo and behold, somebody comes out of the gate and goes, Good God, Bonitis! <laughs> no! The gate is open, what do you do? We charge in. <laughs> don't, don't even fight the guy, just run past him. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll a moving, everybody. I get a plus one for that. Don't worry, you'll just roll a two. Oh, jeez. As if. 
Don't don't worry. So so as as Harold Hughes and called in the white go smashing through the guy, the guy goes, "Hey, what are you doing?" and kicks out randomly, flailing and hitting uh, uh what was your guy Doug. again? Doug uh, Doug up. <laughs> flailing and kicking Doug up. Doug up. You get hit in the head. Oh jeez. Oh no. Your head falls off and you barely have time to recover it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! But you're in. You're in the fortress. No, people that, that's all no around. time to lose your head. That's no time to lose your head. <laughs> lose one Especially, head. People true. are all around, screaming and running around and trying to get to you. What do you guys do? Uh, we need to go deeper. We need to run deeper. We need to get to the arsenal. We need to get the treasure before they can. Before they can, you know, close any. Before they doors. can muster a defense. Roll yeah. your moving, roll your moving, everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh Anase yeah. and Seth both take it. So, Anase, you take a torso shot. Okay. Seth, you take a left arm shot. <laughs> As, as arrows are flying everywhere, people are freaking out, but you get down into the into the underground, and there you find Captain Jack Barrow. <laughs> as he's as he's putting on a nice as he's putting on a nice breastplate. I doff my Hello fellow skeleton. Marrow, <laughs> you're alive! I got the captain you! A treasure! You found treasure! You found a lot of freaking treasure, actually. Yep. Yup, it's gold and jewels and crowns and everything. All over the room. And all kinds of treasure. We can wear some of this treasure. I'm gonna grab a crown. Can, can we, too. It's weird. Can, can we hear them coming at us? And you appear to have slipped up under the chaos and all of the, the nonsense. They didn't see you go in. I will awesome. quickly <laughs> everyone to the treasure. <laughs> You will need to find a way to get this treasure out. Fortunately, uh, Jack Marrow did come in through the escape hatch, so you will probably take the treasure out through there. If we just, I have an idea. If we just kill everyone in here, doesn't it become our dungeon? There's a lot of people in here, though. Mm. We'll save dungeon conquering for the wizard. We're here to steal treasure. Somebody well, has an idea? Perform legendary deeds That's and slay villains, legendary also. Deeds. I think taking the human dungeon would be legendary. And mm. they are they are just random humans shooting at you, clearly displaying <laughs> villainy. Yeah. Clearly. Hmm. I, I I say we just get the treasure and get the fuck out. Me. I have an idea on how to transport the treasure. You've got you a lot of things in your body there, Calden, but clearly you don't have any balls. <laughs> Neither do you! <laughs> you got a lot of balls, but you're missing your spine! <laughs> you can Considering guess. I'm the only one that was smart enough to get a helmet? Yeah! I'm wearing a helmet. Excuse you, and he points to the jewelry box on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Going full goblin mode. <laughs> so you can get out of here without any attack or anything like that. You, you can just go out the escape hatch. Let's just grab fistfuls of treasure and fucking run, guys. No, no we can do better than fistfuls. We have this no, perfectly have good bone machine. Human right here. Yeah, I say we make a human sack. Make a, a sack skin sack out of him and fill it full of gold. <laughs> okay, exactly. make a roll. <laughs> what? Would that be a movement roll? <laughs> wow. Uh, oh, jeez. You're making wow. a skin sack, so it's a crafting roll, we're gonna say. Does anyone get a bonus to craft? No. Nope. I would say... You do not successfully make the skin sack, it's just so skinny. It's too skinny. It's too skinny. There's too much skin, I don't know how to work this skin. 
I'm great with bones, but not skin. <laughs> <laughs> we just put you full of hole. to make. If they had more bones, we could make a bone box or something. But uh, we're just bone free. Or a rib chest. <laughs> Can we if use... any of this treasure in chests? We could just like yes, start chests oh. full of gold out of here. Start. You can start <laughs> carting the chests full of gold out here. We just think it's really funny that you tried to make a bag out of a, a dead body. We don't have. <laughs> We don't have to get all the treasure. If we, uh, let's say, get one chest out of here, like, between two of us, we're still getting a lot of fucking gold. We can each wear a crown. We have heads. Oh, and if we find any bracelets, we can put them on our arms. Yeah, let's sell. Yeah, are there, like, wearable gold in there? Put on all the wearables you can. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you guys carry these chests out of the back, you know, like, what like, a, like, like two to fucking pimp when I leave here. Just yeah, oh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. fucking roll it out with like four <laughs> dudes. I've got like and, rings. I've got like four rings on each finger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing. I, mean, I have completely forgotten about like, two big holes. Our eye sockets. We could put gems in there. Oh yes, my god! In our eye sockets. Exactly. We can just. We can just see like in our mind's eye. We're seeing like the, you think, know an old an old old like storm cellar door or whatever busting open, and these four skeletons go out. <laughs> each one of them is hold. You know, with a, with a different hand is holding a, a, a you know different <laughs> chest or whatever. And they're just like. Yeah! <laughs> Scepter, a giant jewel encrusted scepter too, right? <laughs> each one, each one of you can carry a chest of gold. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> chest of gold, oh, yeah. in our eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you find a way to get back to uh, uh, a quick cave or whatever with all of your gold <laughs> crowns and jewels. To our fucking our dungeon, real quick. Yeah, out of your dungeon, real quick, and then. But you know what? <laughs> You know what? So You've gotten a lot of cool guys. treasure, but you haven't slayed any villains, and and doubtless you haven't performed many legendary deeds. Hey, I slayed like two villains. Hey, 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 hey! One out of three objective is pretty good. Especially we escape with our lives. Day. I think we're good on lives. Our lives. We're good for today. We need to. Uh, <laughs> we need. We need to replace some pieces. Oh. You know, get our bones all. Set up. Yeah, so are, are, you saying, are you saying that you're going to go like hunt animals overnight or something? Yes. To get your bones back. We're gonna. <laughs> yeah, I'll go hunting with my bow and arrow for uh, animals or something. All right. So everybody, roll a hitting check, and then add and and then do whatever damage that you have for your uh, things. What's the DC? The DC is six because this is a fairly standard procedure of hunting wild animals. Jeez. Well, I fail. Wow, we we I just, just rolled roll terribly. Down. We think Anase is the only one that succeeded there. I did four. So Anase, uh, no. Standard six. I rolled, I rolled an eight. Flicker. Oh, look out. Oh. Oh yeah, he rolled an eight on his D ten. I saw the four. So with Bones McNaw. Oh, yes, roll for Bones McNaw. Is he can he go hunt, hitting? too. Does he get a hitting chart, yeah? Yeah, he can go hunt, too. Yeah, you can tell him to go get a boy. <laughs> All right, so, Anase, you get four bones, and those bones are a left leg, a head, a... Uh, 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 torso. Sorry, and a another left leg, <laughs> and then Bones McNaw goes out. And Wait, so you gets... said, you're saying that Anase has two left feet? Well, you may I, share I have all the these bones. I'm good. You may I mean, share nothing... these bones, of course. Nothing says you actually have to put a. a... A head into a head slot. You can put a left arm into a head slot. <laughs> Look like bony. <laughs> it's just remember. It's just remember that if your head is destroyed, then you are you're dead. 
So, uh, meanwhile, Bones McNaw gets five uh, bones. Uh, we do hope somebody's writing these down because uh, I have you know, already lost. lost them. <laughs> well, that's on you. Uh, Bones McNaw gets uh, brings back a pelvis, a left I'm, leg. I'm sorry, I have an extra pelvis. A right leg, a uh, left arm. And uh, another pelvis. <laughs> again, <laughs> again, you may share these with your party members as oh, you so desire. Okay, I'm sorry. He had a pel two pelvises, a right arm right. and a left arm. Yes. Okay. I was tracking my hit, oh, but not necessarily no. which ones uh, I was able to recover. Sorry, sorry. Uh, two pelvises, a right leg, a left leg, and a left arm. Okay. I could use a and new again, right leg and a left arm. And again, you may share those around. Okay, take take what you need there. What's I that? Can right? take a pelvis. Can, mm, can I take I'll one take of the pelvises? I, I will be taking uh, a pelvis as well. I've got one of I yeah. need a replacement right arm. I might just use that. I need to replace a right arm, too. I was about to joke, hey, Flicker, I might not have two left legs, but I'll have two <laughs> left arms. I'll replace one of my left... I'll replace my left arm. So All what this these... would do is this would get rid of the uh, hit on the pelvis, yes. right? Okay. Yes, when you get a new... The only thing that you cannot replace is your head. Me. I'm okay you with that. Can, I think you can replace your head. Nope. It's you replace your head, you but it's a completely do. new skeleton. But that, yeah, you can replace. Oh, so, it. so we're going with that interpretation of the ship of Theseus. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> if your if your head runs out of hitboxes, you're out of the game. So keep it safe. Yeah, don't you only get hitboxes. you only get one head. You get you get as many of anything else as you want, but you only get one head. Was there a spare chest or torso or uh, right arm? Uh, we don't know if there was a spare right arm, but we know that a torso was rolled. Wait, okay, wait. So I got two pelvises, a right arm, a left leg, and a right leg. Yes. And okay. the first that, uh, uh, like, I think the first three were my cut. First four were yours. Ah, okay. Two is a left leg. Ten is a head replacement, apparently. Six is a torso. Two is another left leg. So did yeah, anyone so, take that torso? So you have two left legs and a torso is what you have. I also have a torso damage. Oh. I will, I will let you take. <laughs> Since it was your role. Alright, uh, that leaves me with just one arm injury. Alright. Well, the next day comes wait, out. Wait, Seth, what did you need that from my stuff there? Uh, right leg and a left arm. Oh, I don't have the left arm though. I thought okay. you did. But no, not after you all. Have the left arm. I think he used it. Oh, well, I'll put that X back then. No, I. I'm very confused. <laughs> you have two. You have two pelvises, a right leg, a left leg, and a left arm. Didn't the guy who lost his leg get a hand bone for a leg now? Yeah, no, I don't have the. Uh, I don't have the leg injury anymore. I already replaced it. Yeah, you have a hand bone. Yeah, I already. I already scratched that one out. I just have an arm injury left. I took a pelvis and a torso. All right, so. The next day comes about. You guys have amassed some treasure, but you have not yet performed any deeds or slain any big villains. I don't know. I, I think I did some big deeds. I talked my way in. You did, it's true. It's pretty legendary, true. but everybody else needs a fair share, share of their time in the sun, right? Yeah, yeah, we all need a chance to shine. We need a chance to bleach our bones. Well, I mean... Trying to kill them didn't work. Talking to them fucking worked, guys. That's all I got to say. It worked mm -mm. until it didn't work. It just you still had to kill a guy fabulously. You did still have to shoot a guy in the head with an arrow. You know what? And that's still something that people will talk about. 
<laughs> to be honest, I want to go back out there. We gotta, we still gotta do something. We gotta find more treasure. Yeah, no, we've got the treasure. We need the fame. All right. Hey. So, what do you want to do today, guys? How are you going to take on this human dungeon? We need to, we need to find their boss and take him out. We're gonna go straight for the boss. Yeah. Those adventurers are always come after our boss. Time to return the favor. So, what? Their boss, like the mayor? Yeah, the, the mayor. mayor. I'm going for. <laughs> <laughs> Try your on the plot. So you want to go kill the mayor? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gonna um, take out their boss. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to find out where the mayor is. The mayor is at. The fucking clearly the most decorated house. The biggest building. You go to the biggest building or the most decorated house. Let's. I said we do decorated. decorated. <laughs> All right. Ro who's doing the main search? My mm. dice are cursed, so let me go ahead and roll it. Okay. <laughs> You're the okay. So Anase is trying to find it. Harold Hughes. Harold Hughes. You find what were you going a decorated house? The most decorated house is what we. So I guess we're All getting right. some shack. <laughs> All right, Harold Hughes. Harold Hughes. You find what appears to be a house with many things in the windows and a sign. And it says, everyone's welcome. And it's got pictures of flowers outside. And it's got little tables on the front. And there are people inside that are enjoying all sorts of fancy looking cups and things. We hit it big, hey, boys. This isn't just a mayor. Again, skeletons. <laughs> I was like, we hit it big, boys. This care. isn't. Make up your mind. Who, 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 take turns. Take me to your leader. Do you, do you say that to them? <laughs> I would, yeah, absolutely. You're, you're not going to be like, hello, fellow humans, where can I find the big human? No, <laughs> hello, fellow humans, Just take me to the leader. Roll take a, me to the big human. Roll a speaking plus hat of disguise as you are trying to be disguised as a fellow human. Okay, um... As... Plus three. I see. Uh, <laughs> very relevant. And, and they... Some, some of the humans look at you as you say, Hello, fellow humans! Please point me to the, the human in charge here! And they all look at you a little weird and point over at the counter where there is a human waiting behind the counter who is serving people food and beverages. Excellent. Right on, boys. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, boy. Let is this where you're going to just come busting into the fucking cafe and attack people? No, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Let him go. <laughs> Oh my god, this is hilarious. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, this is fucking hilarious. <laughs> so you now know who's in charge. Uh, I, no, so I'm actually going to play it super smooth here. And I'm going to slide up to the counter on one arm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Hello, fellow. Scratch field. the counter. <laughs> Hello, fellow human. Hello, fellow human. Uh, I hear you, the uh, the one in charge around here. Look at her. Roll, uh, roll. <laughs> and she goes, "Yeah, do you do you want something?" Yes, uh, I heard that. Uh, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah. uh, what? 
What did he say? He, he said, oh. I heard, and then pause, get him, boys. <laughs> are you are you all just gonna run in and start attacking people now? Yes. I guess. Alright. Well the orc is the best at hitting, so Orc, you have been given the signal to rattle him, boy. <laughs> so as you and, and the orc, what, what weapon do you have again? A scimitar and a dagger. So, so the orc runs in, all <laughs> and, and and you may attack two people. Uh, so that's one. Do a scimitar attack against a human. Oh, you do geez. three. You do three damage to the first human you find. Uh, right arm. You just chop their arm right in the fuck off. <laughs> and then and then roll your uh, roll. What was it? Three. Mm -hmm. You're in such a frenzy <laughs> as you run in. You just you completely miss the other guy. All right. <laughs> All right, Harold. Harold, you've been given the you've been given the uh, the the thing to rattle a voice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like sneaking behind a plant, and I'm just gonna jump out and go die. <laughs> okay. okay. My uh, my attack is an eight. What's your what's your weapon? A scimitar. Scimitar, do do it with a one d six. Oh jeez. <laughs> you do two damage to uh, the person's uh, pelvis. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Well, he's not dead, but he wishes he was. <laughs> All right, Calden. Everybody's just rolling in. The signal is right. giving. Rattle him, boy. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go after the one that. Uh... <laughs> That the lady Mero behind is the next counter. to him. <laughs> They're gonna go behind the lady behind the counter. Yup. <laughs> uh, you get a plus one for the record due to the surprise. So you get, you get an eight, and and the lady goes ah and <laughs> as you swing your great axe <laughs> right at her head. Do a d twelve versus two. <laughs> get her. <laughs> Just flop her head clean right the fuck off. Oh man. Grab that head as proof. Good idea. People just, people just start screaming as you just start absolutely cleaving the shit out of random cafe going patrons. <laughs> I start parrying into the crowd. Uh, <laughs> Remember, no human. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you kill you kill thirty eight humans in the uh, in the <laughs> everybody trying to get away. None of them. Not a single one has bones. <laughs> Where are all the bones? Oh, guys, guys, you have to come to the conclusion that you might be in a no bone zone. This is disgusting. <laughs> we're clearly this place is against the natural order, and we were sent by nature to cleanse this place. <laughs> <laughs> we are. This is a the world of bones. Friends. These are our natural things. I, I think we should get out of here. This is clearly not right. Get out of here before the law arrives. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it's <laughs> <laughs> what do we want for evading the law? That's a detail. That's a running. That's a running away. Okay. You're uh, running from the law. I I I'm willing to evade the law. <laughs> oh, uh, that that nine is a ten. Seth, Seth, you're you're uh you're in the background. You're you're oh no, Seth, you got hit in the head. So 
somebody threw a rock oh, no. at you. Oh no! Dog up has been taken down. No! no! Oh my god! Guys, they killed Dog up. They killed him. <laughs> they they destroyed his head. He's done. <laughs> Dug up went in too deep. He's six feet under now. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. The humans, the boneless humans. The spineless humans. <laughs> They've killed him. They've killed Dug up. No. Anyway, do we have enough body parts? They, they, they skull fucked him. Huh? <laughs> my god. Anyway, do we have enough body parts to assemble a new skeleton yet? <laughs> to replace no. him? No! No, he's done! His head was destroyed, you need to avenge him now! <laughs> but we've already killed their leader and stolen their treasure. What more can we do? Burn down you your to town? Perform a, you need to perform a legendary deed, I, I, I think that the only one who hasn't performed a legendary deed yet is... Uh, Oh, Dead. No, no. Uh, I, th I think Harold hasn't. <laughs> Harold? Harold, there is one mm. thing that qualifies as a legendary deed, and that's bringing your the friend back, back from, from destruction. Yep. Yeah. By becoming a necromancer? <laughs> Does that basically you gotta... make you a lift? The perpetual no, undead machine. Goblin left behind. Stop, Mooney. Stop. <laughs> so, so you're you're wanting to perform a legendary deed and bring him back to life? Let's find the blind wizard. <laughs> oh my god! Do you guys want to find the town wizard and force him to conduct a ritual? Yeah. What, what, <laughs> a what ritual? If, what if we just? What if we yeah. just go back to the wizard that originally made us? You no. cannot let him know that you have abandoned your post. No, 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 we're here. No, he doesn't know you're there. <laughs> we're going to get in trouble if we do that, guys. Do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. You're not, you're not the wizard is supposed to know. It, okay? <laughs> you totally would dispel us. <laughs> Having our skulls cracked open is one thing, but dispelment is forever. We we kind of can't go back to him with like failure. It, like failure is not an option. We, hang on, this is hardly a failure. <laughs> one of you failed. We we got four chests of gold, and we only lost one person. Well, we're That's mostly for you. It's not for him. Now under man and can't properly guard his dungeon. He'll be pissed. He'll be best. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta rectify this on our own time. <laughs> Logic checks out. <laughs> we're gonna find the town wizard, and we're gonna bring our buddy back. Alright, well, how are you gonna find the town wizard? We could kidnap the cleric, too, guys. Clerics can bring people back. What? But you no. can't bring skeletons back. Yeah. There are two kinds of people to bring people back. But warlocks can't, because they're trash. <laughs> you, can't even, you can't even animate dead warlock trash! God, even a fucking bard can do it. <laughs> Oof. Rough. Alright, so, uh, somebody, somebody try to find the town wizard. If only we so had a wait, pure skeleton skeleton who would know wait, all about skeleton culture pure, and knowledge. If it works by pure meme logic, we just have to find the tallest tower, and that will have the most powerful wizard. Alright, well, roll it out. Find, uh, ro roll your searching. Roll a search? Are cursed, you yeah, you, you, you do it, Captain Jack Marrow. Fuck. You, you find... Well, you find the tallest building. It's not a tower, though. But what is it? confident that this is where we have to search for the wizard. Well, the building has, uh, well, it's very tall. It's got these big arms that stick off of it, and they're rotating around. And, oh, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> the fucking wizard did it, dude. Oh, <laughs> clearly. clearly. This is magic. <laughs> this is fucking magic. It's got to be a wizard's tower. Is this a fucking like, yeah, is it? It's staring us in the face, and it's also waving its arms at us. <laughs> exactly, it's a giant animated tower, clearly magic. Alright. 
Let's knock on the door. As you <laughs> knock on the door, you hear, All right, one moment, give me a second. <laughs> I gotta make sure my hat's on for this one, guys. Roll I'm trying to hide behind the obvious I, Why don't you all get... Can I keep all of them as bones in my backpack as I pretend to be John Human then? <laughs> we don't see why not. Oh my god. Sure. You put like 150 pounds of uh, bones into your backpack as John Humanman. <laughs> Assuming you guys consent to that. I mean, I was gonna hide out of view of the door. But I was just gonna stand behind you like a goblin. <laughs> 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 I'm more powerful that, uh, gremlin energy. You your powerful to, gremlin like, energies? What, Shy? I'm sorry? With your powerful gremlin energies? Yes. <laughs> Do it. Never mind. Alright. All right, I'm rolling so... my sneaky. Okay. Yes. The man, the man opens up the door as, uh, as, uh, Harold, uh, we, we, as we recall, Harold Hughes is just in the background in goblin pose being like, <laughs> <laughs> and he just doesn't even notice him. <laughs> he just doesn't even see him. Uh, a bearded guy opens up. Uh, Trikekis, did you roll your disguise? Uh, sorry, I have not. <coughs> so, oh, damn. nice. You are entitled to roll again. Uh, and so... So, uh, random guy with a beard and, and a big hat comes out and opens up. He's, he's covered in dust or something, white dust. And, <clears throat> uh, yeah, can I help you? Is that Santa? And yes, he's got hello. White hat, he's got a beard and he's got a hat. Is that Santa? Hello, I am John Humanman, local necromancer. And I require, but I'm not a very good one, and I require your assistance making uh, bones be animated. To, into skeleton hoodness. Animated bones. Can you animate bones? Skeletons. Are you a wizard? He's got the beard. <laughs> I see you have a beard, but does he have a pointy hat? He has a big hat, yeah. Oh, it's pointy. <laughs> I can see that you are a wizard. Don't even try to deny it, sir. Uh, do, you, do you happen to know how to animate skeleton? No, uh, I'm a miller. We we grind bones down into into flour here. No, sir. I I did ask you not to lie to me. Why did you lie to me? <laughs> um, you can buy seventeen pounds of flour for sixteen gold pieces, and you can buy. Four pounds of flour for uh, three, 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 or, or four pounds of a bone meal for three gold pieces. Bone meal, you say? A bone meal, yeah. I told you we grind hey, bones hey. down into flour here. I'm sorry, my do you, God. Do you have he murders bones? Us. I'm sorry. Do you have bones in here? Well, no. Oh. Most of them get ground down. It's an evil wizard. I put my hand on the door and I go. So you're not a wizard, but you're keeping lots of bones here? <laughs> no, we don't keep bones here. We grind bones down into bone meal. And that gets added to flour for good bread. Can you show me these bones? <laughs> I, can show, I can show you the grinder. And he, he, he brings you on in, because you're clearly a human. And, uh, I mean, clearly. He, he, he walks you over to a grinder, and there's there's just an idle, like, femur or whatever chilling, and he picks it up, and he chucks it into the grinder, and the grinding wheel crushes it down into bone meal right in front of you. Ghastly. Huh? Ghastly. Ghastly. Oh, my God. Oh, you my realize. God. I am absolutely you... fucking shook. You I realize that I would. You, <laughs> you realize this guy is a skeleton murderer. What? I'm going to jump out and stab him. <laughs> I, I am fucking shook. I All immediately right. drop right. my weapon and attack him. Uh, uh, okay, well, the the uh, <laughs> the Harold Hughes jumped out first, so yeah. Harold. 
Harold, get, yep. get your attack in. Oh, Harold. Harold just leaps out of your backpack, completely enraged, seconds before you draw your own weapon. He just leaps on the guy and just all up on his shit. And he just starts stand, slicing the shit out of him. And the guy's like, oh, God, oh, jeez. That's for killing Dave. <laughs> and and, and uh, as he's flailing around, Harold Hughes chops off his left fucking arm. <laughs> it was bleeding all over the place and flailing. All right, I'm, I'm going to charge in with my axe, too. <laughs> okay, and then Calvin suddenly busts in through the door. I, I, I can try to get his thing in first. Oh, try kick us, actually, though, you do. Captain Jack Marrow, you, you, are, you get first hit. You do hit him. Okay. Are you hitting him with your bow and arrow? Are you yeah. shooting him as he's flailing around? I'm shooting him. <laughs> I pop in a cap in his ass. You <laughs> pop the cap in his torso and hit him in the heart and he just dies. I'm still covered in crowns and jewels and strings of pearls. <laughs> and then you shoot him in, as he's freaking out and flailing around you shoot him in the chest and he goes uh, uh, and he falls over into the grinder and it slowly starts grinding him into the works wait a minute wait a minute wait, 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 pretty easily Pry, did we just pimp slap this bitch yeah <laughs> and this little dog too you've killed a horrible murderer of bones. He is a wooden slayer. Yup. Yeah, yup. Yeah. And, and in the corner, in the corner, on a desk, you see a potion of repair. Sadly, you can't use it to bring your friend back, but maybe a wizard can use the energy of it and bring him back. We snag that. And then in in this horrible human's own blood, I write on the wall, Justice. <laughs> justice. In his own viscera, I write the word justice, yes, before we leave. Try right, well, writing wait, wait, is wait, all guys, dramatic. Guys, what if what? What if we go to the wizard and say that some adventures attacked and got Well Well, you'll have to find the wizard first. Damn. Because clearly that guy was a false wizard, just trying to lure innocent skeletons in to murder them. Yes, clearly. So we gotta find the second tallest building. Now, who who wants to find it? I will. Okay. <laughs> he confidenced a lot of them. You find a tower. It's a stone tower. It's even bigger than the last place. Uh, as, nice. you're, as you're sneaking along through the evening or whatever, you hear, Oh my god! The wind, the miller was killed! The windmill is filled with blood! <laughs> Probably not important. Uh, so, so you do find a tower, and since everybody's so distracted by the arsenal and the windmill... Or, you know, whatever it the was. The cafe? And the cafe, <laughs> but they don't even notice you as you find your way to... Oh, yeah, and the cafe. There's just this random, horrible <laughs> band of roving skeletons in this town. So well, like the, wor <laughs> the worst thing is that nobody's actually really seen most of the people who got killed. It's just been, you know, horrible massacres over and over again. <laughs> There were some skeletons at the docks a few days ago, but, you know. So, uh, yeah, distracted by all of the other shit, uh, nobody stops you when you go up to the tall stone uh, wizard tower looking place. Well, clearly, as a human, I should knock first. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Down doors. As you knock, as you knock, a tall... A uh, fascinating, long-bearded, pointy-hatted guy with a spell component pouch on his side and, and, and a book full of gibberish and everything. He opens the door right in front of you and he goes, roll a disguise check. Okay. Trying to make yourself look as human as possible. Hello. And he goes, and he goes, mm, yes, my good man. 
Hello. He straightens his glasses. Hello, my name is Johnny Human Manton. Son. Okay. <laughs> the, the third? <laughs> yeah, you've got all this royal jewelry. You should be quite regal now. As you can see by all this bling that I am wearing, I am quite wealthy. And I require the services of a wizard. Oh, I am a wizard. You are a wizard, good sir. I am a wizard. I require a wizard, though, who can animate skeletons. Well, skeletons? You don't find many of those around here. No, sir, you do not find many of those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see that you are quite intelligent, a man of refinement and taste. Oh, well. Well, uh... A roll of speaking. A speaking? A speaking. My, well, uh... May I come inside and discuss business terms, if you are amenable? He looks around briefly. And, all right, come on in, but don't tell anybody about this skeleton nonsense. We're not supposed to talk about them here. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. I understand. Mm. They're, they're to be quite scary, these... <sighs> Skeleton. Quite <laughs> violent. <laughs> I've heard skeletons are quite violent and scary. Not very articulate. So, unfortunately, what kind of skeleton are you dealing with? Uh, the bag of bones type. <laughs> well, <laughs> I pull out my bag of bones. <laughs> what, what, kind of, what kind of ancestry did you have? Or Orc. Uh, Orc. <laughs> Orc. That's, that's what it is, yeah. Yes, I need to uh, raise the bones of this of an orc here. Mmm. Mmm, I see. Mm. Uh, a good friend of mine, yes, in my very human life. Of course, of course. Uh, no head? Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the head was quite destroyed. Oh, uh, mm, a shame, a shame. Uh, but can we replace it with a pelvis? I have plenty of spare pelvises lying around. I oh, mean, we did no, that, so... no, no, you, you need what? the upper head, not the lower head, sadly. Uh, <laughs> they're not interchangeable. If you had the, if you, they're not interchangeable. One is for thinking, the other is for other things. Uh, <laughs> mm, <laughs> if you had, if you had some kind of potion of repair and the remains, I might be able to do something. Well, it would take fact, a while. In fact, I believe I believe I do have one of those somewhere around here. My, my goodness, there it is. Well, oh, I think after a, a day we'll be able to get your orc skeleton back in motion. A day? A day. My, yes, a day. Stay here with you in that time? Uh, I've oh, I'm a... I'm afraid it will only bring suspicion. What's that? Oh my god, no! And you look over and you see a little girl at the window and she goes, <gasps> and runs off. And he goes, no, no, they found out. Now everybody's going to know that I do skeleton experiments in here. Oh god, they'll... They'll be at our at my house by morning. I'll never be able to have any peace to do this. They'll be attacking the tower. No, no, dude, it's it's fine. Why don't you just go kill her before she makes it back to town? Who's good at running? Who, who's who's good at moving? Well, who's sir. good at running? Yes, Goblin. Good? Goblin's only good at running away. We think the elf is the best at moving. Oh, Flicker's AFK. God damn it, Flicker. We need him to chase down a little girl and brutally murder her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, everybody will know. And I can't chase that little girl down. I'm 8,900 years old. You could have walked on to moving. I could chase them down and murder them. I also have a yeah, bone yeah. can, can I just move to the window really fast, lean out the window, and then pop a cap in her ass? <laughs> Try it. You, get, you can get one chance. Nope, sorry. Little girl's juking too hard. Alright, let me explain this to Flicker when he gets back. Oh, 
we need to murder a child, and he's our <laughs> only hope. Yeah, pretty much. But hold Flickers on, I'm gonna give a little more to Gaz than that. And now we play the waiting game. The flickening. <laughs> this game is ridiculous, guys. It's really funny. <laughs> it took me a, it took me a minute to fully process. It's so fucking ridiculous. It took me a minute to fully process because I didn't. I didn't thoroughly read the whole thing. I, I did the. I, I did read the whole thing um, when it was posted, um, but I had forgotten most of it. So when we started, I kind of skimmed it, just to refresh my memory. It took me a minute to fully process that we are going around murdering humans, and for some reason I thought it was going to be like we're trying to pass ourselves off as humans and we're going down real dungeons. I had just completely <laughs> forgotten the human air quotes dungeons. No, no, yeah, no, that is the exact opposite of how this game is actually yeah. supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the village <laughs> is the dungeon. Yeah. <laughs> their town like yeah we're the bad guys guys i don't i don't know how to break into you we are the bad yeah. guys. that one took me a minute it took me a minute where the skeletons were looting their village killing their people mutilating their bodies the hell did i come back to flicker <laughs> flicker listen flicker there is something that only your character can do this is a special set of skills uniquely tailored to you. Are is you not caring? This mission. Is it not caring? You it's killing a little girl. You need to go kill a child. Sorry, Calden, you need to go kill a child. Yeah, Calden, you need to go kill a child. The wizard was talking about how he could totally bring your friend back, but he needs a whole entire day, and you know, you, you can't stay here because it'll be it'll draw much too much attention. Oh my god, what's that? There was a little girl in the window that gasped and started running off. And then he says, oh, damn it, now she'll tell everybody and I'll never have any peace. You need to go kill the child. And they'll attack us, and they'll attack me for my experiments in skeletonization. Yes, and I certainly would not want to be attacked for my frail human body would spill all of its blood over the ground. Which you totally would be, have. In the words of Alex Jones, destroy the child. Would be pierced, <laughs> would be unable to do their vital life functions. I'm very good at being a human, guys. <laughs> very good yeah. humaning. Hmm. I don't think I will. <gasps> Gas. Why? Shocking. Oh. No commentary on the phrase. Yeah, no, we we know what that is. Yeah. I asked Me. why. That's my commentary. Why? Like, are you That's... actually not attacking the little girl who's running away and going to bring violence upon your door so your friend can't come back to unlife? Like, jokes aside. If we want to make sure you're fully aware of the mission that has been given to you. He is, I'm pretty sure he's aware of the consequences and just doesn't care. Well, I mean, you're not answering, so we, we didn't ask that as a rhetorical flicker. We've asked you twice now, and you have not dignified our question with a response. Is that actually... Know. Okay, that's what we're fucking asking. We're just looking for an answer from you. We don't care which one you do, but is that what you're doing? Unfortunately, Seth is kind of right. <laughs> huh. What did Seth say? Uh, he doesn't care. care. Yeah. Well, I just so happened to be on the other side of the tower window, seeing the girl through the other window. I will go after her. Okay. You're a uh, goblin trying to run after her? I am a goblin going after another... S and I rolled a three. Unfortunately, <laughs> her legs are a bit longer than yours, so she, she runs faster. Damn it, if only I had taken Billy's femur, I'd be taller. If, it's actually true. If she's running away and you're running after her, doesn't that also make you running away? 
I no. get it. I get a plus one. <laughs> it makes you running toward. So, so Calden, you're not doing anything? I probably should. Do whatever. So, running, or moving, we suppose, to catch up with her. Congratulations! She <laughs> is short! Your legs are long and capable and elvenly, so it is easy for you to move up to her and run alongside of her as she's running away, uh, you know, screaming and stuff like that. You can, you can attack her now if you want with your great axe. I can miss. <laughs> well, fortunately for you, she is not combat trained, and she's very young, so it's easy to hit her. All right, well, let's see where it hits. Let's see where it hits. Are you rolling or... Okay. Not the head. That's okay. You chop her arm clean right off, and she... Uh... Children don't have many hit points, or so I've been told. And she screams and falls to the ground and starts flailing and spraying blood all over the place. <laughs> well, let's fix that. Now, we, now that she's not running away, I can run up and reason with her not to tell <laughs> all, that we have uh, there are skeletons here. Do, do I get a second attack at some point? You do. <laughs> You're the only person near her. Awesome. <laughs> it's easy to hit her, so... Alright, location... Oh! <laughs> The head. She's so dead. <laughs> <laughs> just what you just cleave her head in half. She's so dead. <laughs> Rough. All right. Uh, we need you to roll a generic d10, please. Okay. So, so as you go back to the wizard, he goes, "Ah, oh, good, good." Now nobody found out, so we'll all be safe. Maybe it is perhaps best that you do stay here. The night goes by, and and as the, the morning calls, you hear angry calls from outside the tower. And as you look outside, you see that there are there's an angry mob with torches and pitchforks. And the, the wizard goes the wizard goes, My god, you didn't kill her stealthily and get rid of the body? By the <laughs> gracious! I won't be able to finish my my job until you until you kill all of you keep them keep them back. Oh, uh, you're surrounded in the so wizard's we're, tower we're, now. So we're defending you know, again. Shoot their nose down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Defending another wizard's dungeon. Oh, well, the cycles of cycle. <laughs> Oh yes, you've got full circle now, guys. Tell those filthy peasants to stay back, and I'll shoot arrows down into the crowd. All right, <laughs> all right. So, uh, roll a roll a bow and arrow. Takes that. Too. Well, it hits. It hits somebody. The filthy peasant trash. Where did it hit? <laughs> it hit somebody. Yeah, but doesn't where? matter where. It doesn't matter where. It's a whole. It's a whole mob of people. So, uh, so the the archer has posted up on top of the tower. What do the what do the uh, uh, great sword and goblin or great axe and goblin do? You hear me cackling wildly and screaming about filthy peasant trash. It's because you're an elf, yeah. Filthy human peasants. <laughs> Filthy spineless humans. <laughs> I'm just wearing a fucking top hat. <laughs> I, I am going to leap into the fray, being like, "Rah! I'm a skeleton. I have nothing to do with this tower. Mm, juicy human." <laughs> <laughs> right. I start swinging. You you have a scimitar and a dagger, right? So you no. have to take two attacks. <laughs> Wait. Wait, can I take, can I borrow Seth's other scimitar then? Yes. Fuck yeah. That's a two. And that's a six. Well, you hit one person. One d6. Alright. Six damage. You kill a person. <clears throat> Alright. Calden, what do you do? You're surrounded. There's humans all over the place. You clearly didn't kill that girl quietly enough. Uh. Hmm. 
The door is like secure, right? The front door to the tower? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can be if you want. Just Just hiding in the woods. There there are arcane arcane defenses on this tower. (laughs) I think I'm. Hmm. I I think I'm gonna. Is there is there a spot that I can stand on the inside of the door, uh, and have the mob see me? Like through the little window in it? Yeah. So so I can be like, you know, th- this is what's Ooh. awaiting you if you come in here. <laughs> sure. Like menacingly sharpening Roll. your axe on your yeah. on arm. G- just give us a d10. Let's see how menacing You're this like, is. Oh my god, they do have skeletons here. <laughs> Sadly, it's not menacing enough to stop the throng from coming in and slamming on the door and busting it down, but you have them in a choke point. There's no way these people don't think this guy's an evil necromancer, right? <laughs> yeah, but now you have them at, have them at a choke point. You are entitled to attack with your mighty axe. Oof. Oh, you're able to hit a guy. Whether or not you hit him in the head, we don't know. I don't. <laughs> you don't hit him in the head, but you hit him in the torso. That'll kill a guy. Yeah. Congratulations. You killed a guy, and the first guy who comes in the door, you just completely plaster him uh, your, your uh, great axe into his chest. Going, you All right. shall not pass. All right, so uh, so uh, 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 Jack Marrow, it's your turn. I'm just going to pepper them from above. With All right, roll your bow and arrow. Die, filthy human trash. Die. <laughs> you kill... Uh, Oh god! Okay. As the as the throng is coming, you kill you shoot a guy and he dies. You keep shooting down, hitting multiple people. Moving on to the goblin in the fray. What do you do, Harold? I keep slashing. <laughs> I'm to roll this as two d10. Just just, just just a little little nine buzz, of four. Just a little that tornado of blades. It's a target. Two guys. It's a target rich environment, guys. It's Never a target before rich environment. Yeah. Skeletons have been in such a perfect position to kill. You slice, you slice up 11 people, <laughs> taking them down as the throng's going on. It is now the great uh, Calden, the White's turn. <laughs> My god. Sorry to say. So now it is the people's turn. Each one of you takes a hit. Calden, you take a torso shot. Uh, some errant thing flies up and hits you in the pelvis, jo- uh, Jack Marrow. What, what oh, happens no. when something breaks? It breaks, you can't it, use it anymore. Oh no. My, my, my chest is gone. Your chest broke? Yep. You take a negative, you take a negative one to all of your future roles until you can fix your chest. Alright. Alright. And, uh... To Harold, you also take a shot to the ch- the torso. Well, at least I only have one damage of those. <laughs> now. Alright. So, it is, uh... It, it's your turns, uh, starting with, of course, uh, Captain Jack Marrow. I may need to reattach my uh, pelvis. You can you can do that during your turn and then fire. Okay, excellent. You all have defensible situations, except they, for Harold. Good thing they hit me in the armor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, gonna re- rearrange that. Like this, you filthy humans. All right. Does a six hit them? Yes, it does. One moment. You hit four and take down four humans. An ace. Congratulations. Don't put you in horny jail. No. Anase. <laughs> uh, or, sorry, Harold. You need to attack? I am a whirlwind of steel. That's two hits. Excellent. We're stepping away from the computer real quick. One moment. Uh, roll a d10. 
I rolled my damage, and here's the d10 you asked for. What is it end up at? We're away from the computer. Gotcha. The, the, the right d10 arm. you asked for is a four. A four? You take down four humans! <laughs> nice. Flicker! Or sorry. Uh, called it. The white. It's your turn. Three. Oh, that should be minus one. Two. So two. I'm sorry, Calden. You don't take anybody down this turn. So, sorry, we just had to step away for just a second. We're back. So, the uh, the group. One moment. The group does not carry out another attack this round because they are very intimidated. So, moving on, it is uh, Jack Marrow's turn again. I think there's a lot of fucking humans. There are. There are like a hundred humans in the mob. Well, I think only... what I need to start doing is picking off the humans that are giving orders. Mmm, smart. Yeah. Roll, roll a general D10 to figure out which ones are the right ones. Uh, you see some guys screaming over somewhere in the back line. Alright. Hmm. Roll your bow and arrows. Oh no, I suck. Sadly, sadly, you uh you aren't able to pick them off properly. Uh the goblin, Harold, what do you do? You're surrounded by people. I'm going to do the only thing that I can do and continue going goblin mode. <laughs> Full goblin mode. Eight and a one. Just keep hacking. You end up, you end up slicing up with that. Even just with that one attack, you end up slicing up eleven more people. The crowd is thinning. And then, of course, Calden, the white. What do you do? Um, can I be like, leave this place or die? And you try can and say scare leave them out? this place or die. That is a speaking. Okay, so it's just a flat D10. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Oof. Oof. They're not, uh, they're not buying it. Sorry, man. <laughs> they still think they got what, they've got it on you. You can still take an attack at them. Alright. D10 minus one. D10 minus one. For an eight. You know what? You're perfectly able to, to sink it in. One moment. You kill seven more humans. The wizard in the background is frantically working on his reagents. <laughs> and the people... Uh, did I did I prove my point? <laughs> and the people this time do attack. As And so first, obviously, a rock is oh. thrown at Jack's... Uh, 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 Jack Marrow, and it's out of your torso. <laughs> What? They're attacking my torso now? You gotta hit to your torso, yeah. Okay, well, at least they're hitting my armor. And then one is to the right leg of Harold. And the last one is to the left arm of Calden. Calden, that's bad. You need two arms for your axe. You better pick that shit right back up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but it wasn't so, my right arm. <laughs> it wasn't your right arm, Jack Marrow. I oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. It was your left arm. I need to reattach my torso. Reattach your torso, and then take your attack if you want to. Die, humans. Die, humans, Die indeed. Important. Die, important humans. <laughs> you kill one important human. There we go. Ah. Uh. Uh, all right, so next, Harold. Harold. An ace. Anase. Sorry, microphone disconnected. Okay. On a pogo stick, I am a whirlwind of steel spinning in play. Roll <laughs> again, it, let please. It rip. One more D uh, uh, D10. Wow. All right. Uh Truly amazing. 
You are able to take down 16 more humans. He is like death. Let's go. A whirling dervish, really. <laughs> uh, next, next, back to the uh, Great Axe Elf. Probably want to put your arm back on and take another swing. Yeah, can I try and break their morale again? You can try. Wait, no. You can either break their morale or put your arm back on. Ooh. Ooh. I'll put my arm back on. Good idea. And then you can take a great axe swing. That's a Feel great, free to roll again. You in fact, rolled a great axe swing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you kill 15 more humans. But they do not relent. Right. And so, and so, Jack Marrow, you take a shot to the torso again. They be snatching your people up. Harold, you take a shot to the torso again. Oh no, I have no torso. Oh, that's that's rough. And then, uh, Calden, you take a shot to the left arm. No. Is that isn't that the second shot to your left arm? <laughs> yes. Oh no! <laughs> All right, it is. Uh, so your arm is your left arm is broken. You can't wield your great axe anymore. There's a dagger on the floor, though. Where Harold left at? No, I have a spare left arm. Oh. Oh. All right. Well. Well. <clears throat> you have a second can, torso. Can I, Jack Marrow? You are aware as you're firing from on high that Colden's arm just got broken. His left arm got broken, buddy. I need to go over and do some hero shit and attach it. <laughs> yeah, All right. My uh, replacement left arm I've got in my inventory. All right. Roll a roll. Uh, roll an aid they're, check. They're hot swappable, right? Roll an aid. Oh. You are you are able to slide down the stairs, give him an aid check, and get back up to your firing location. Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, I, I was about to ask if I could pick up, like, a, a severed arm or a leg and use it as a one-handed yeah. weapon. Fighting. <laughs> oh, my God, Flicker. So... So, uh, yeah, yeah, you, you have an arm back on, Flicker, or called, and congratulations. So next is, uh, Harold. Harold, what do you do? You just lost your torso, right? Oh, sorry, uh, yes. You're surrounded by people. You lost your torso. But you also am death, destroyer of people, of humans. <laughs> just kill them! With fire. Breathe is my answer? You are able to keep swinging. And you do... One moment. 19 humans dead! <laughs> Calden! The humans are thinning out! My god. They... Can I they... attempt to break their morale again? You, know, like, you, may. you should have listened! You may. Roll of speaking. This is a pro bone zone. And, uh, do you have a negative one at that? Uh, I would also have a plus one, so that's why I rolled flat. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, in that particular case, uh, no, they don't. Wait, we'll have to actually roll on their turn. Unless you want to take another shot. Um. Are you, take, are you taking a swing? Yeah, I'm going to swing. Do a swing. Well, that should be minus you, one. You so swing zero. Line, but we're going to take that roll that we had there and say that the crowd rolls a one on their courage and finally disperses after you killed like over 60 of them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they run off and the wizard goes, oh, happy day. And then that gives you enough time. That gives you enough time for the wizard to finish up his work and bring back dug up he reconstitutes his head and says the job is done and doug you return from oblivion <sighs> you're, the other side. you're unlive you're unlive again 
Uh, it's great to feel the, the wind in my ribs again. With that, you have slayed villains, gotten cool treasure, and performed a legendary deed. You've recovered from undeath, from death, again. again. <laughs> from redeath. Ah, so congratulations, guys. We would say that you won Adventure Skeletons. <laughs> Slayed <laughs> many villains. You've got a bunch now, of cool trouble. This treasure. Been telling boogeyman stories for decades about <laughs> centuries. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they will never <laughs> forget the tale of these skeletons. Do we bring so, this wizard guy back to the boss? <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be safe here anymore. He's not going to be safe. Yeah, so afterward you find out that as a matter of fact, the entire town was not human at all, but a secret outsider colony that had moved here from another dimension and was trying to fit in. And that's <laughs> why they didn't like him doing any skeleton shit, because none of them have skeletons and it freaks them out. <laughs> They're all just meat puppets. They're all just meat puppets. Uh, uh, meat. They're they're all just meat puppets that are are care are moved around by those um those uh glass balls that are in their in their heads, and that's actually where the actual outsiders live. <laughs> Disgusting. Honestly, yeah. that's like one of the worst of the dark secrets. I said that to my dog. <laughs> yep. Got got fucking outsider all up in my dog's mouth. Oh, now I gotta take him to a vet, get him dewormed. <laughs> I need space I wormed. Fabulous treasures, guys. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys got gold crowns and jewels. I've had a disguise and a new best friend who would mm -hmm. otherwise be interested in meeting you. So congratulations! You guys officially won Adventure Skeletons. We Feel got, free to say goodbye. We got a potion of repair too. Hi, and have a good one.